look at multiplying fractions with exponents. And there are three different types we're going to look at. The first one we're going to look at is when you have like bases. We have 1 half cubed times 1 half squared, so our bases are alike. So whether they're variables or just um, numbers, we treat them exactly the same. As long as you have like bases, we're going to take these exponents and we're going to add them together. So I'm going to write this as 1 half to the 3 plus 2, or 1 half to the 5th power. Now to evaluate that, we're just going to raise 1 to the 5th power and 2 to the 5th power. So let's separate that. So I raise 1 to the 5th, and then I raise 2 to the 5th. Well, 1 to the 5th is just 1 times 1 times 1, all 5 times, so we know that's just 1. But 2 to the 5th, let's write that out and evaluate it. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32. So that means 2 to the 5th would end up being 32, so our final answer is 1 over 32. Now let's look at our second type of multiplying. This time I have 2 thirds cubed times 3 fourths cubed. This time our bases are different, but our exponents are the same. So we can evaluate each one of these separately and then multiply those answers together, but it's a little bit easier to go ahead and multiply the bases together first and then cube them. So let's multiply our bases together. I'm going to take 2 thirds times 3 fourths. Because they're both cubed, I can just raise that to the third power. So let's go ahead and simplify this. 2 thirds times 3 fourths. I can reduce this by dividing both of these by 3 and dividing this one by 2 and this one by 2. So I end up just with 1 half to the third power. Well, 1 half th cubed would be 1 times 1 times 1 times 1, which is 1, and then 2 cubed. And remember, cubing, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8. So that means 1 half cubed is 1 eighth. Okay, so when you have different bases but the same exponents, you can multiply the bases and then cube that answer or raise it to whatever power that is. Now let's look at our last case. Okay, what happens if we don't have like bases and we don't have like exponents? How do you handle those? Well, what you've got to do is evaluate each one separately and then take the answers to that, those and multiply them together. So let's go ahead and raise 2 thirds to the second power. So that's 2 squared over 3 squared, which is going to give me 4 over 9. So that evaluates out to 4 ninths. Now I'm going to take 3 fourths and I'm going to cube it. So I'm going to take 3 cubed over 4 cubed. So 3 cubed is, remember, 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. And 4 cubed is 4 times 4 times 4, which is 64. Now when you multiply, I can just do some cross-canceling here. So 9 goes into itself once. 9 goes into 27 three times. 4 goes into itself once. And 4 goes into 64 16 times. And now multiply across what we have left. So 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 16 is 16, so our answer is 3 sixteenths. So when you have different bases and different exponents, you've got to evaluate each one, take those answers, multiply them together, and get your final answer. Hope this video was helpful.